So welcome to this uh, tutorial about Weebly Designer. A uh, few questions we get asked uh, within within our business is about Weebly Designer and what's the difference between Weebly Pro, Weebly Free and Weebly Designer. Well the difference is with Weebly Designer is that you can put in as many websites as you want into an account uh, and you can have as many people access it as you want uh, or your staff or your clients and it's just uh, far more user friendly to a web design agency. Uh, at the moment, we've got about 50 or 60 accounts with Weebly, um, which you can imagine makes lots of logins quite, uh, quite time consuming. So to be able to consolidate a lot of your clients into one account, uh, obviously uh, strengthens that when you want to look at something, you don't have to you know, so hunt down in your spreadsheet or in your depository where it all is. Let's go through the Weebly Designer account and see what features there are. So this is the main screen. Um, you can see basically all your clients here. They just go next 10 clients, blah, blah, blah. And they all work. So you choose on any one of those and you can click and uh, there you go, straight out. So very straightforward like that. Um, and you can always edit them, which I'll have a look at later. Uh, I'll just go through well, through the features. So you can, <clears throat> all the clients are there. Uh, if you go to the staff, you can insert any staff there. And then if you want to just create somebody and, and their email, and then you can assign them um, which clients they want. Uh, or which clients they need to makes it very very easy so you don't want to obviously give access to everybody for everything but uh, you know it's just it makes it very very specified uh, the next well, the next element this is all not in Weebly Pro just in Weebly Designer so you can um, use your company logo so when people log in to edit their sites uh, rather than having to go into Weebly, they can go into something that looks like yours. So I'll, uh, if I just click on that, you can see our version, so they can enter their email, and that would log in, and uh, well, they can edit their website using the Weebly functionality, but looks a lot more professional. So uh, there's that, and then the settings. Um, well, similarly, you can actually change uh, some of these you can use a subdomain we haven't set that up but you can and um other sort of other features there um you can make that customized if you want to um view the client wants to view it in a customized manner it's not really important i, I probably wouldn't play around with it the well the other features that you'll see in weebly pro and weebly free you've got the domains a feature you can search for that where well, it's normal they're just trying to sell on some we'll sell on some domains and the Google Apps it's with the email it all integrates and then your usual account information uh, which obviously is uh, usual 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 and uh, support a functionality there so that's the overview of the actual uh, function. If we go into making a website with Weebly, De with Weebly Designer, um, should be should be quite interesting. So what we can do is every time you want to create a website, we can either add a client, and that means you recreate it all, which is you know you have to set up every page, every photo, every you know blah blah blah, or so what we've done, and I'll show you this, is the pre-matted uh, format theme. So basically, if everyone now on this on this account, I think two people work on it, um, they can copy this, and if we click on it, it's always in uh, the draft mode because we never publish it live, which I'll talk about in a minute. So this here is our template. And you know it's got the it's got the usual structure, which we prefer. Um, and rather than, as I said, having to recreate all this every time you do a website, it's quite easy just to um, 
we're going to replicate that. So what we can do is edit this. Um, and this is the functionality that you'll get for the Weebly Pro as well as the Weebly Designer. So it's all the same stuff. Um, we know pages, you go to your pages, you can change, you can change the header. New features here is you've got your, all your SEO coming through this, uh, through this way, which is cool. We don't use meta keywords, um, probably because it looks uh, spammy, but we uh, definitely use a good description and page title. And then you can put your Google Webmasters and your Google Analytics here. Um, this is all, you know, it's all standard stuff. Um, if you want to make edits on the thing, you get your, uh, oh, you get your, uh, you get all your features here. Uh, standard Weebly stuff, nothing, nothing new. Um, search box, it's just, I mean, the icons have changed recently and I think some new, when new features have been put in, but pretty much that's that. Um, and then if you just want to check on the mobile version, you can do all that as well. So I think they were having a drama with the logo uh, last time there was some drama kicked off about inserting the logo. It looks as though you can't still, um, but that isn't really part of this. That's more of a Weebly question, so I will not sidetrack on that. Um, right, so if I go back into, oh yeah, and when you want to go live, well, then you just choose your plan. So you can have, you can, you can be working on your draft and the, and the client can review them all, blah, blah, blah. And you can either go pro, and that's the, that's the, that's the standard Weebly Pro. Um, alternatively, if you want to sell stuff online with shipping and you know, e-commerce, uh, then you choose, then you choose the business, um, and otherwise it's just pro and then you push on choose and it prompts you to type in your client a domain name that must be configured before that. And you can check out our other videos on how to do that. Um, otherwise it won't work and it won't sort of, you have a problem. So make sure the domain's always registered, like always configured to the Weebly DNS and then we just push continue and it publishes it and then you get pre-build for the rest of the month so you can see today is 11 o'clock uh, sorry is 11 uh is the 4th of uh, november and uh so you so you get billed sort of 26 days out of 30 for the month which is why it says um you'll be billed so if you choose pro it'll say you'll it's 716. So that's also something to watch out for as well because sometimes you get weird bills with two domains in them. Uh, well, sorry, two lines for the same domain, like 795 and 7, 716, but, but that's because of the pre billing uh, structure they use, which is fine. Um, so that's that. Now, if we want to replicate this, so we have a new client and they need a website, uh, obviously. Um, then you can go into this and hang on, how do we do this? Uh, oh, no, not there. Let's change slightly dashboard. And then you go, uh, edit site authorized client. Uh, how do you do it? Um, right, well, I don't remember, obviously I don't make any websites anymore, it's the staff and, yep, but anyway, so, well that's what you can do if you work out, if you work out how to copy it, um, then that will help, otherwise, um, yeah, anyway, you just, well, I mean, you do recopy it and you rename it, um, and that's basically that. So, 
um yep, that's that's what we have there.